Hey guys, hope you're all well. Okay, it's, what is it? It's, it's late Sunday night. Uh, yeah, things haven't quite gone to plan this week, but we're used to that. Anyway, it's not, it's not been so good. One of the things hasn't, anyway. Uh, I'll explain with us, we, I've got a couple of things on here that I need to get on with, which I'm gonna do and we'll go through the week and hopefully what we're gonna be doing this week coming. <laughs> Planning forward, hopefully. Anyway, we've got, I'm gonna get the backlight in the, uh, the backlight number plate holder, which shouldn't take long. I'm gonna get the Boyer power box bolted to the bottom of the battery box. We've got the other foot rest on and the rubber to put on. And we've got the rear brake pedal to put on. I am clutching at straws on jobs to do on the bike at the moment because some things haven't quite gone right. But it's part of it. It's, I'll explain, you'll see why in a moment. <laughs> I'll explain everything. Anyway, we'll do that while I'm carrying on with things. Okay, this was the first thing. Uh, remember I replaced one of the rims because the other one was rotted out. So I ordered this from Hitchcox as uh, a rim for an half width fob. Now, the, the, the front one's all laced up, ready to true up. This one, it just didn't seem right. Something wasn't right about it. It took me a bit to figure it out. I thought spokes were wrong and all sorts. And then, after messing about and bringing pictures up and everything, I could see it's the wrong rim. Now, here's the old one. It'd be probably hard for you to see on camera, actually, but I'll, I'll try and explain it as best as I can. So this is the old one, and it's got a certain pattern to all the punched holes that the spokes pass through. And until I actually put it up against this one, which really I probably should have done before I had it powder coated, but I didn't, it all became apparent. So this one, I, I, yeah, it's for a full width hub. So what happens, where's the hub? Let me just get the hub. Do, do, do. So that's a half width up. So what's happening, it laces up to this side, no problem, up to the big side. But on this side, the spokes, the angle that the spokes are coming out of this hole are trying to line up with a hub that's basically that size, both sides, a full width hub. So the spokes are coming off. Have I got a spoke? We'll, we'll demonstrate with an Allen key. <laughs> so when the spokes are coming out the rim, they're basically off at an angle that's completely, completely and utterly wrong. It's not coming off an angle that will marry up to this side of the hub. It's coming out and going like up here, which is fine for that side, but not for this side. And I've checked and checked and checked again, checked everything, I've even unlaced it, spun the hub round, laced it again, and it's just not, you're having to force the spokes down to this bit, which is no good. Uh, so, I plan to go to Hitchcox Friday, Plan to get up early, go. There's some other jobs to do out that way. So I thought we'll tie all this in and get it all done on one journey. But we got a phone call. <laughs> we got a phone call early Friday morning. Tracy's gran, who's been looking after 
her daughter's dog, Tracy's auntie, and it collapsed in the garden. The poor old dog collapsed in the garden. So we shot up there. He wasn't very well at all. We made a sort of a stretcher out of a blanket and got him in the house. He, he clearly wasn't fit to put in a car and cart around. We found vet after vet after vet after vet saying, oh, we can't come out now. Remember, this is early in the morning. This is like seven, eight o'clock in the morning. We can't come out till 7.30 tonight. We was getting all that. Anyway, he, 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 he died. We know he, he was knocking on a bit. He wasn't very well anyway, but obviously that we hadn't planned for that happening so that uh yeah he, he piece of but well he, he wasn't he didn't seem to be struggling in any pain he just slipped away in his blanket in the kitchen so that uh yeah, that that messed my day up i, I won't yeah i wasn't too good after that i love dogs and that proper upset my day I, I still don't like thinking about it now but I'm just trying to explain so yeah we had to deal with all that it wasn't good it really wasn't a good day so everything bite wise was just boys bite out the window I didn't care we was just dealing with Tracy's gran who was absolutely devastated obviously and sorting the things out with the old dog and yeah there we go uh, obviously I was planning to sort all this rim out at Hitchcock's plus get uh, the other bits to carry on with because the postage at the moment is all over the place the, I mean postage strikes I'm still waiting for stuff I ordered nearly two weeks ago <laughs> so that's in a bit of a mess but we'll get there we'll get there so yeah it's been a, it's been a bit of a mess to be honest but there you go um, so I've <laughs> fingers crossed I'm going to get to Hitchcock's probably tomorrow or Tuesday and get this rim sorted out. Oh, it's a bit of a pain because I've had it powder coated. Uh, so I'm going to see what they can do to help me out and get this thing done. Because I'm planning on to be doing the couple of videos of putting all these bits together and getting all the back wheel in. But it's not happened anyway because of what I've just explained. It was a bit of a bit of a blow really and uh, yeah never mind um, so I'm hoping to go there tomorrow or Tuesday get this solved somehow uh, I've checked as well on the invoice it, it's definitely listed as a half width hub rim but it's not it's hundred percent it's a rim for a full width hub hundred percent sure it is but I'm just going to take this rim with me and get them to see themselves then obviously i'm going to have this changed that's if the will change because it's now powder coated i don't know but we'll have to solve it in whatever way i can and then obviously the rim i'll bring away from there i've got to get powder coated so that's a bit of a hold up but we'll get through that in the meantime i'm gonna get these little bits together <laughs> at least something's rolling forward Let's get a little bit done. At least it will be a better start to the week. So we get the light in this because it needs to be done. I'm just, I'm actually clutch, clutching at straws to do little jobs because there's been a couple of hold ups, but that's all part and parcel of it. It's one of them. Eh, where am I? Here, there's my little pot of uh, stainless fixings. So, this goes in there like so. Get that lined up. And we've got some little stumpy fixings. Where are they? Are they long enough to go through? It's a bit fiddly. Okay. 
to undo that one a bit. Let's try that again. And that one's through. Have we got that started? Oh yes, we've got that one started. <clears throat> Last one. Washer. There we go. Sorted. Hopefully, where are we? That's it that way. Done. Da, da, da. So that's ready to go on. Obviously we've got a little number plate to put on, but we won't do that till last. Right, put that on the uh, half done pile. Over there. Right, boiler box. Uh, these ones. I think. No little down deads fit there. Yes. All right, let's just get it started if I can. That's a bit easier. Nearly dropped that one. If that had hit the floor, it would have disappeared forever. One more. That's got them done up. My GoPro decided to overeat <laughs> again. Keeps getting too hot. All right, we'll just cut a little pad for inside for the battery to sit on. So I can make a mark on this. Can you, I don't know if you can see. Rubbish camera angles. <laughs> oh, I can just about see that. If I can cut it out straight. Can't see it no more. <laughs> right, let's try that again. There we go. Quickly before it starts popping back out again. There 
There we are. A little bit of a cutout where the cable comes through. Got it. There we go. See that. And we'll have some little paddy strips at the sides as well before the battery goes in. Well, that'll do for now. That's that one done. Right, what next? I've just. Uh, Turn some of the heads down on these little bolts for the dummy oil tank. So I think we'll put that in place as well. <sighs> right, rolling forward an hour. Just had to be going to do dad's taxi again. <laughs> and I'm determined to do what I set out to do. It's now getting later and later, but never mind. <laughs> Right, I want to do the ignition key now. So we've got this little ignition key plate that needs to go on the end of there. But first, we've got to make it actually fit the ignition. So this is supposedly for an Enfield ignition, but they never fit. Never go on. It's supposed to go through there. That's as far as it goes. So, a little bit of filing. As it's so late at night, we've got manual, manual filing. No air tools. So hopefully, we can get that to fit with very little effort. I'm shattered. <laughs> I'm definitely going to get this done though. That's loud. Go back to the padded leg to keep the noise down. That's the one. Right now we gotta. What we gotta do? We gotta put the ignition in. Then we gotta put that on. Oh no! Where have I put the big nut? <laughs> there it is. Get it all done up in place and then we can do the little holes that hold the, uh, the little plate on there. Make sure we've got them level. go right and we just got to pop and tap the holes in there and we've got these little tiny dome dead screws so I'm going to mark that with the drill actually Then go through tap size for three mil screws. <laughs> tap size for three mil, 2.4. Oh, 
I'll see if we can actually do an all wheel little drill without breaking the drill. And move my T. There we go. Right, let's tap them out. There we go. One sorted. them little oh, which one's that gonna be that one Nearly there. <clears throat> now it's the one. Sorted. Right, we'll get this bolted on. I think that'll do. I'm sure everything's clear. fixings in it for now so I want to be able to spin the bike round and to put the other side in so struggling I'm not doing that tonight I've got to stop somewhere I think it's nearly 11 o'clock <laughs> totally going again against everything I said working late and weekends oh well That's alright. Mucky, mucky pull marks off it. I wonder if the whole thing will need a good polish when I'm done. There we go. Happy with that? I think that'll do me. <laughs> Fingers crossed everyone for just a, a, sort of a normal week this week. I'm gonna do my best to get to Hitchcock in the morning, if not Tuesday morning. Hopefully we can uh, sort something out with that rim because obviously I've gone and got it powder coated. We'll see what happens there. Not normally they're really good and helpful, so we'll see what happens. I'll let you all know because Right now, I was hoping to have all the back wheel in this bike all sorted, but that wasn't to be with the thing going on with the dog and all stuff like that. It, uh, it ain't to be. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Fingers crossed for a normal week. Anyway, that'll do. It's really late. I'm going to go and get my head down, ready for the week. Cheers for watching, guys. Take care. <laughs>